The new head man at James Madison, Everett Withers, uh, it all comes full circle for you this year because as a head coach at UNC, your first win was against James Madison. That's now right. you'll be getting wins for the Dukes. So welcome to the CAA, and uh, what are your initial thoughts on the league? Well, very tough league. Uh, very, uh, from top to bottom, I think one of the, if not the best, uh, FCS conference in, in football. Uh, I just look at the coaches in this league. You just had uh, Coach uh, Cosgrove up here and uh, Coach Laycock. Yeah, some very talented and experienced coaches in this league. Now, last season, James Madison, a perennial power in the FCS mm -hmm. and certainly in the CAA, missed the playoffs for the third straight season. Right. Now, when you were brought on, uh, I'm sure the expectations were told to you, this is a team that needs to be a consistent playoff team. Uh, sure. Are those your expectations from year one to get this team back into the FCS playoffs? Well, I think our expectations are, are to re-energize and, and, and grow this program. Uh, uh, we've been about changing the culture in this program, uh, trying to get some things done. Uh, we're a little bit different uh, staff makeup in this program. So uh, obviously the expectations are to win uh, and, and be in the playoffs. So, uh, you know, obviously that's one of our goals. Now, helping you uh, perhaps reach that goal uh, this season will be a transfer quarterback, right. Bad Long, who started 13 games uh, last year for Georgia Tech, the Yellow Jackets, out of the ACC. Uh, for those unfamiliar uh, with Bad, what is he going to bring to Harrisonburg? Well, Bad Lee is a, is a guy that uh, I've known for a long time. It's time in high school uh, at, uh, at Hillside High School in, in, in Durham, North Carolina. We recruited Bad at, at North Carolina when I was in North Carolina, so we had a a previous relationship. Bad has a, uh, a strong leadership pedigree, uh, a very, very uh, tough kid, uh, very uh, willing to grow and learn. Uh, so to get Bad into our program was a, a, a major coup for JMU football. Now you spent the last two years as defensive coordinator at the Ohio State right. University uh, compiling a 24-2 and two record over the last two seasons. So if anyone is capable of evaluating a defense, it's certainly you. Uh, you've got the task of replacing a Defensive Player of the Year and Stephon right. Robertson. Uh, how's the D looking at JMU? Well, I think one of the strengths of our football team is our front seven. Uh, and Stephon obviously was a part of that, and we'll miss Stephon. He's a, a talented young man that uh, uh, I think is a, is a fine person as well as a football player. Uh, I know he's out there uh, shooting for his NFL dreams right now, and I hope he's successful doing those. Uh, but, but we feel like the front seven is one of the strengths of our team. Uh, we're looking forward to growing and building some depth in our defense. Uh, one of the things that we want to improve on is our, is our secondary. Uh, we want to make sure that we uh, grow. We have a talented young man, Dean Marlowe, that uh, we hope uh, will help lead our defense and be part of that growth and, and, uh, and maturity of our defense. You open up uh, against Maryland uh, to right. start this season. Now, I know folks in Harrisonburg, Virginia, still talk about, and, and why wouldn't they, when JMU beat number 13-ranked Virginia Tech back sure. in 2010. I was at a, a basketball game right. where Virginia Tech was nowhere to be found, and there was a sign in the stand sure. that said, we beat Tech. This was last year. So fans still remember that. You now have an opportunity to, right. to play up a, a level. Uh, are the players excited for that chance? Well, I think any time your first game is against a, a top opponent, uh, an FBS opponent, when you're talking FCS, it gives the off-season program some, some credence, and, and, and our kids really have worked really hard. Uh, we have a number, uh, two, I think two, maybe three transfers from the University of Maryland. So obviously that's going to be a big part of what, uh, what they're excited about is going to play their ex-teammates. Uh, but we're excited about it, and I think it gives us the opportunity to work hard in the summer and prepare for a, for a top-notch uh, program. Well, welcome to CAA. We're happy okay. to have you, and right. uh, good luck this season. You're first in James Madison.